I am going to demonstrate the Quick Test Pro application and I'm going to go along with the help tutorial and use the Mercury Tours website um, to demonstrate. There is a 14 day trial license that you can download and part of that download includes um, ActiveX, Java, Visual Basic and website uh, testing but they are also uh, many different other types of testing that you can include on your download. So this is going to bring us to the welcome screen here and we're going to start by creating a new test real easy here and file then new then test and part of that new test is the first action and it's going to be important for us to give these actions proper and distinguishable names because they can be used uh, amongst many different tests if we desire them to and so in order for us to distinguish between one and another action um, giving them proper names is important so we're going to come down edit action and rename action it's going to warn us that renaming this action might cause other tests to fail and obviously since this is the only test that we have it doesn't really matter I'm just going to give this the name of login and then to create new actions I'm going to come up here and insert call to new action and I'm going to give this the name flight finder and right here we have a checkbox that will allow this action to become reusable and if unchecked it'll not be reusable another way to create an action is to come up here and click on this pink brick uh, Lego brick and um, give it a name okay now it's going to be important for us to understand the many different objects in the application in our case it's the mercury tours website and so we're going to come up here into the tools menu and there's the object spy tool that can also be found right here with the little dude in the hat and i'm going to drag this over and out of the way open up the mercury tours uh, website in the Internet Explorer browser. It is important to use Internet Explorer and I'm going to click on the little hand and then as I go over the objects in the website you can see in the object spy box that all the details about the objects are changing. And so I'm just going to click here on the username box and once you click it's going to close the object spy um, and it's going to just give you all the details here for that one object. Now we're going to create a object repository, come up to resources and click on object repository manager and we're going to come up to object and we're going to navigate and learn and that's going to give us this box right here. I'm going to create a filter and we only want to find specific types of objects because if we include all it's going to give us way too many and we're going to select only edit boxes and images. Um, then we'll, I'm going to click on the title bar here and click learn and that's going to analyze the web page and give us all the objects so we can close that and now here if we expand this we have all of the images and text boxes on that page now the only ones that we need are the sign in the password and username ones so I'm just going to delete all of the other objects Okay, now I'm going to save this and we're going to call it, uh, we'll just give it the repository one name here. We can close. Now 
we're going to want to add resources to the login and so we're going to come to resources and we're going to right click on login and associate a repository with the action and we're going to choose repository one All right. now we're going to add steps to the login action and to do that we're going to double click here in the test flow and then here right uh, we can then insert a new step and we're going to choose an object from the repository and we're going to select username okay and for the username we're going to set the value of that to tutorial okay now once you've created that first one you can just select right here it'll have all the elements from that object repository we're going to choose password now with the password obviously when you use that it's encrypted so we're going to set to a set secure rather than just regular set as in the user name has but we also need to um, create the proper string so we're going to come to the start menu and programs find the quick test professional go to tools and they have a password encoder and so the password for the tutorial account is again tutorial and we'll click on generate and it gives us this string here we'll just click copy come back up here and we'll paste it okay and then we can come and close the encoder the last thing that we have to do is um, select the uh, sign in object and it's already set to click and to click the sign in image. So now we're done with adding uh, steps to the login action. So we'll do the flight finder action. And to add steps to the flight finder, we're going to come up to automation and we're going to re record and run settings and make uh, it to record and run tests on an open browser. Okay, and then we'll record. And I forgot here that before I record that, I need to log in here. Okay, so now we will come here and we will record and it's just going to record the uh, changes that I made so let's depart from New York on uh, September 18th and we will arrive in Seattle and then depart um, September 24th okay and we'll hit continue now we're going to stop recording and now we need to come back here and um, make sure that we reset the record and run settings back here because when we run this in just a minute it's going to um, need those settings so we'll hit OK now we can um, run the test and so we're going to come up and hit run and um, we can select any folder we want okay and I'm not touching anything it's going to open up a new browser it's going to log in for us and then enter all the information that we did and ta-da we have run the test successfully and then we can come here and we can view the details of all the different um, tests that we performed and um, see some of the information about that and that is some basic information on the quick test pro application